Okay, it's a lame town. But we're not. Because we're dipshits. We're American dipshits. We're American dipshits. Hey. I know, which is why we need to go somewhere else. Like where? Like everywhere. New Zealand. No, not New Zealand. No, no. Fuck New Zealand. <laughs> Fucking hobbits. Just kidding. Yeah. I do get spoiled. I can't help it. I do like. Because we're Americans. My you I don't like realize it. You don't realize that we're as Americans we're spoiled. I know we are. I mean, when you go to another country and you're there and it's all good, and then you want to make a sandwich and you can't get mayonnaise, mm -hmm. it's like what? Qua? No mayonnaise? What the fuck? Well, because we have different needs. We're we're Americans. We're used to having different it's things. It's not really needs. It's, it's well, the but wants. Americans aren't about needs. Americans are about wants. You can be the brokest motherfucker, and you're gonna be able to get your hair gel and the things that you want to get. Look, I got a new bag. Oh, is that naughty? It is naughty. It's TJ Maxx. Hey, shut up! You can't be telling people that. God, don't say that. It's not. You're not even supposed to expose my sources. You got poor people that can't even feed their kids and they're gonna go and get their freaking four dollar Starbucks. <laughs> Americans are focused on what they want. You know, like you'll see so many Americans, they'll have like this little ass trailer trash house or whatever, but then they got this pimpin' ass car because oh, yeah. we have, you know, certain, oh, yeah. we're focused on what we want, not what we need. The things that it's we just, really and, totally and we take, take for granted. granted. If America ran out of coffee, like say there was a coffee shortage and there was no coffee at all. No coffee. Can you imagine, like, oh. think about like New York City, Wall Street in the morning, like if all, if all of a sudden Americans woke up and could not what get their happen? coffee. What the hell would happen? Can you imagine? Oh my god, they wouldn't That would be shot. bad. A coffee headache is no joke. No, it's Because we're addicted. Americans are addicted. We're addicted to shopping. Okay, so we're here at Target. And we're gonna do a little shopping for some makeup. And um, I don't know if we can film in Target, but we're gonna try. Makeup! Oh my god. Oh. No idea. Yes. We're addicted to porn. Well, not me personally, but... I'm sure there are quite a few people that are addicted to gambling and um, online shopping, coffee, Starbucks. Americans are addicted to Starbucks, let's face it. I think everybody is addicted to something. Well, yeah. Everybody. There isn't one person on this planet that is not addicted to something. Mm. On this planet yeah. or in America? In America, probably. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think just people, have just, that cigarette. everyone has addictions of some sort. I like drinking. I like smoking weed, but I don't smoke weed. I like drinking. If it becomes it legal, me, then I will be smoking some weed. I think if you can find your addictions that are not going to land you in jail, you're doing okay. Well, that again goes back to our number one rule. What is it? Don't get caught. Don't get caught. There's no police officers around here. Yeah, I don't no. see any. No cops. At Target. Can we, um, can they say anything about it? Can we get in trouble? Or Who's gonna know? Well, everyone on YouTube is gonna know. Well, that's after the fact. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. I always told my kids that. Do what you like. Just don't get caught. Just don't get caught. Yeah, and even if we put things on the video, it's sort of just, it's, um, it's a farce, it's a satire, it's not real, and we could be lying. We could be lying about everything. We could be lying about everything. We probably are. We probably are. <laughs> peace, I've come to peace with our addictions. Really? Yes. I just spilled coffee on myself. There were a lot of families like needy families that would come to my daycare and stuff when I had the daycare. And there was this one particular family that I uh, thought was needy. Yeah. By all regards, I thought they, you know, she played a good game. She played a good game. But they knew how to work the system. I found yeah. out the hard way. Yeah, we're not really going to get into that. Right? No. Yeah. And there are those that really know how to work that system. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I would. A gold digger is like a hooker, only smarter. 
that is true, but I am, I'm really not a single figure. I mean, if I was poor, you bet your ass. People pay their taxes, get that money. You know what I mean? The job of government is to take care of the people. People should not be hungry. They should not be without health care. They should not be without food. That's fucking ridiculous. No one anywhere should be without their basic rights of food, shelter, and clothing. That is the government's job to take care of their people. If you have any food, government shelter, that's doing clothing and health. Yeah. And if you have any government that's doing any less than that, then that's not a good government. Uh, what is a government? A government is basically a shepherd of the people. But we have it now so distorted that it's just become this huge corporatized crap game, crap shoot, whatever you want to call it. It's crap. It's 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 crap. Oh, did I say that? Oops, I'm sorry. Kidding. Yeah. It's a satire, right? I don't even know what to say about that. We're kidding. We're Americans. We love our country. We do love our country. Just not so much the powers that be. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't even get me started on politics. We're supposed to be doing the like the fluff and bubbles thing. Yeah, so. the fluff and bubbles. Yeah, fluff and bubbles. Because hey. we're fluff bunnies. <laughs> I don't think so, man. <laughs> ain't, ain't too fluffy. <laughs> ain't nothing fluffy going on. All right, yeah. American dipshit. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Just don't give a fuck.